Yeah, you've got uh, five minutes. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, good evening, President Hunt, uh, members of the board, Dr. Ballard, staff. Uh, my name is Dr. Anthony L. Marshall. I teach at Booker T. Washington High School, where I teach advanced placement United States history, as well as United States history from an African-American perspective, or as some would prefer to call it, African-American history. Keeping that in mind, my comments will first come from a historical perspective. Almost 100 years ago, Ellis Walker Woods answered the call to come to Tulsa to be the principal of a high school for the Negro. Due to the, due to the degradation, humiliation, and legal certification of the institution of segregation, a school sprang up that has a legacy that remains unsurpassed in the Tulsa public schools. The tradition of education and creating a moral consciousness among young people is what brings many of us here tonight. Many like me are second, third, and like some young people, fourth generation Hornets. We bleed orange and black. However, does that make our views more relevant than an individual that has no family ties to the school? I think not. We must appreciate that just as Booker T. Washington High School educated many of us during a time when no one else would, we now open our doors to all. When you study history, particularly when change occurred, it was on the backs of young people that stood in the front lines and endured the vicious attacks of German shepherds as the students fought to integrate schools. It was young people that withstood the raging currents of a firefighter's holes simply because they wanted to eat at the same lunch counter. Doctor, Dr. Marshall, the agenda topic is related to the field house. I understand the context, but we need to... Thank you. To not only the school board, but all that believe in teaching our young people, please do not discount the ability of young people to think rationally, address questions analytically, and develop answers based on reasons and logic. That is why, tonight, I applaud the young people for their recommendation that the, Booker T. Washington, that the new edifice at Booker T. Washington High School be named Hall of Champions. I believe that these young people have thought this thing through clearly. They have reached a logical decision and have made their voices heard. And I, as one of their teachers, want to stand and support them in their recommendation that the Fieldhouse be named Hall of Champions, not the Nathan E. Harris Fieldhouse. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, John Lewis.